Praise the Lord, Hallelujah. Blessed be the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ in this wonderful and blessed morning. Dear children of God, let us together on this year of 2022, on this December 25th, Hallelujah, Sunday morning, to worship our God, to praise our God, our Heavenly Father, for every wonderful opportunity. Let us thank Him, Hallelujah, Father, thank you. Thank you, Jesus, last full morning, the Lord protected us. Let us lift a hand and thank Him, Father, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Father, for the good sleep you gave us last night. Let us thank him, Father. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Father, with good health, happiness. Amen. This morning, our Lord who woke us up for his mercy and grace, let us thank him, Father. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah, Father, this morning for wonderfully leading us for the faithfulness of our Lord. Let us thank Him. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Father, we worship you. Father, we praise you for your mercies and grace. Thank you. For great is your compassion upon us. Great is your grace upon us. Great is your mercy upon us. Great is your love upon us. Every day. For holding your hand and leading us, remembering your faithfulness. Father, we tell you thank you. The psalmist is saying in Psalms 57, verse number 2, I will cry out to God most high, to God who performs all things for me. Verse 3, he shall send from heaven and save me. He reproaches the one who would swallow me up. God shall send forth his mercy and his truth. Verse 7, my heart is steadfast to God. My heart is steadfast. I will sing and give praise. Awake my glory. Awake a lute and harp. I will awaken the dawn. I will praise you, Lord, among the peoples. I will sing to you among the nations. For your mercy reaches up, up to the heavens and your truth into the clouds. Verse 11, be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let your glory be above all the earth. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let your glory be above all the earth. For the truth and the mercy of our Lord, let us thank Him. Let us all pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, for this wonderful morning, we thank you. Abba Father, last full morning for protecting us, thank you. For the good sleep you gave us last night, thank you. For making us to wake up in good health, Father, thank you. Last night for blessing our meeting, Father, we thank you. This morning also, your grace for being with us, thank you. Abba Father, we worship you. Abba Father, we thank you. This morning, Father, all who are hearing this voice today, in the name of Jesus Christ, Father, we bless them. We bless their family life. We bless the children you have given. We bless their way of living. We bless their body. With good health, let them be filled. Let them be filled with peace. Lord Jesus, your grace, let it be upon them. Every condition of sickness, in the name of Jesus Christ, be gone. Everyone who is sick today, as they hear this voice, in the name of Jesus Christ, be healed. For those who can't get up, in the name of Jesus Christ, let them arise. Hallelujah. Father, thank you. In the name of Jesus Christ, let them sit upright. Let them stand upright. Let them walk upright. Miraculous healing. We declare it upon them. Everyone who can't walk, Lord Jesus, in the name of Jesus Christ, let them arise and stand. Let them arise and walk. Hallelujah. Also, Lord Jesus, those who have got a pain on the heel of the leg, in the name of Jesus Christ, be healed. Thank you for the complete healing you've given to your children. Father, whatever your children are worried about, Father, on the second day of our prayer and fasting, thank you for your glory that is being revealed. Thank you for your power that is pertaining upon them. Thank you for there is nothing impossible for you. Father, thank you for the miraculous healing and the deliverance you're sending your children. Let your name alone be glorified. Father, let your work be revealed in the life of your children. Father, give, we give today's meeting into thy hand. Do great things, O oh Father. Lord Jesus, all over in the world, there are meetings happening. Father, we give it into thy hands. Lord, bless it everywhere. Let your glory prevail. Let your power prevail. And Father, thank you for filling the world with thy glory. We worship you. We praise you. In Jesus' mighty and matchless name, we bless your people. Thank you, Father, for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Let the Lord bless each one of you abundantly this morning. Let the grace, the peace, and the joy of the Lord 
increase in abundance in your life. Hallelujah. We have come to the second day of our prayer and fasting. Sit with the Lord. Meditate the word of God. Hallelujah. Worship Him. Praise Him. To hear messages again and again. To meditate the word of God. To praise more and more. Spend this time. Pray for others. Pray for other matters. Pray for our meetings. Hallelujah. Agree the glory of the Lord to prevail all over in the world. Pray specially and let the Lord bless each one of you abundantly this morning. Let the grace of the Lord be in your life. Today further, we are going to meditate from the book of Luke chapter 2, verse 10 and 11. Luke 2, 10 and 11, it says, Then the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, Lord Jesus. For to you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is born, who is Christ the Lord. Dear ones, whatever situation you are going through, how much of a dark your life is, if in your life nothing is there, if everything is problem, believe, hallelujah, Christ the Lord, Savior for you and for me is born. Hallelujah. Let us lift a hand and thank him. Father, thank you. Jesus Christ is born. He is born. Hallelujah. Not with all the riches and pleasures. He was not born in a good hospital. He was not born in a good room, but he was born in a, in a, uh, in a manger. Verse number seven, we can read. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. So in our life, always for God's peace, God's blessing, doors are open, hallelujah, for a miracle, for a deliverance, for our health, for our needs, to make it complete. Jesus Christ from heaven was born in this earth. Let us lift our hand and say, Jesus Christ is born for me. Once again, say, Jesus Christ is born for me. When Jesus was born, like how the word of the Lord says, hallelujah, a group of shepherds came to wise men, came to see him. When all the entire nation was sleeping, like how in the Old Testament, manna was falling. At a time no one knew, at a time no one thought, Jesus Christ for being born for us. Let us thank him. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. This Jesus Christ was born when the entire that place was going through a great problem. Romans were persecuting the people at that time. Is when Jesus Christ was born, when everything was dark, when everything was against Jesus Christ for being born for us. Let us thank him. Hallelujah. For being born for us. Let us thank him in all our life. When did Jesus Christ come? When we face the most difficult situation, when we most time, when we face a bad time is when Jesus Christ came into our life. Hallelujah. In this time of darkness, an angel of the Lord got up and said, Do not be afraid. Hallelujah. I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be born, which will be for all people. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Not a lawgiver was born. Not a judge was born. Not a politician was born. Not anyone else was born. But for us, was born to us a Savior. Hallelujah. Say that for me was born Jesus Christ the Savior. So with confidence we can be. So we can be at peace for us. A Savior was born. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. In this world, the greatest news that can be heard is not that we got a food free for one time or we got free food for 30 days. But then Jesus Christ of Nazareth was born for us. And that is the greatest joyful news in this world. So this morning, the Holy Spirit is saying, yes, Holy Spirit is saying, Jesus Christ was born for us 20 centuries back. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is born inside of us. Our life is fulfilled. 
just by being born in a mansion is not enough. He should be born in our life. And how can he be born in our life? We should confess with our mouth, believe in our heart that Jesus Christ is born for me. Hallelujah. He died for me and he's resurrected for me. Hallelujah. In this manner, when Jesus Christ comes inside of us, all these things will come into our life. Good health, deliverance, healing in our life, all provisions in our life. So these days, hallelujah, 20, 23 years back, Jesus Christ was born good. Uh, but then we should say, in my life, Jesus Christ is born. And when does he be born in our life? When we confess with our mouth, when we believe in our heart, is when Jesus Christ takes birth in us. And those who are born in this manner is those who are blessed. In this manner, when you believe, is when we become prosperous. So this Christmas in our life, if Jesus Christ is not born, let this day be a day where Jesus Christ is born inside of you. And when he grows inside of you, your life will come into your next 11. Hallelujah. For those who believe in his name. Hallelujah. He's given us the right to be sons and daughters of God. So when Jesus Christ is born inside of us, we become children of God. When one is in Christ, he is a new creation. And then who does he become? He becomes a new creation. His old is gone. Past is gone. He becomes a new person. Hallelujah. That is what in this Christmas, the Holy Spirit is reminding us. So let Jesus Christ be born inside of you. Let Jesus Christ be born inside of you. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, we will grow, we will increase, we will multiply and we will be great. Hallelujah. We are blessed. We are really blessed. We are permanently blessed and highly favored. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you today. Hallelujah.